Welcome to Indie Insights. My name is Highsight, and this is Skyhook. I love this title screen. I don't know how else to say it. I love this main menu right here. This is beautiful. Really well polished. You immediately get the entire look, feel, and theme of the whole thing. Pirates. Sky Pirates. I mean, damn. It's so... so minimal, but so good. I mean, it's, it's just good. That's all I can say. This is how you make a main menu, ladies and gentlemen. You got uh, your options right here, ship log right here, which I assume is all of your battle stats, which I have none of just yet. Nice. And yeah, it's a very smooth, very quick menu. Everything transitions nicely. Look at that, just go further up. Credits, will that go down below deck? Nope. Credits are just your standard credits. It'd be kind of cool if the credits kind of went below deck to like see actually everybody piloting it. But what are you going to do? Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into the verses. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? Little selectors, kind of a la Super Smash Brothers. Choose who you want. So we have uh, Anara, Finn, Runa, and Jade. Let's go ahead and choose random. There we go. I got Jade. Jade the cat. So this is a trend that I'm, I've gotten to see a lot more in video games, and I'm liking more and more every time I see it. The ability to actually play around in the player menu and understand the controls before you even get in the game. That is a huge deal. That is so great for teaching players how to play the games. And it's in a small enough area where you get enough to learn everything. Like, immediately I learned you can wall dump, jump before I even got in the game. I learned, you know, there's dodging, attacking with the hook. Which, of course, is also a grappling hook, so there's that going for it. Apparently, you can move up from some platforms like that. Very good. It all moves very nice. One thing I am noticing, though, is there's a little bit of a sluggishness in the running, it feels like. But you kind of, if you're close to a wall, you kind of grabbed that wall really quick. But we'll get more, we'll get to that more as I play. Maybe it's something that's really not a noticeable thing at all as I play. So let's jump right in. All right. So what do we have here? We have different game modes already. Deathmatch, fight to the death. Steam tank. Fight with limited hook ammo that only reloads when on the ground. Sky Slayers. Earn points by killing your enemies, but lose points by killing yourself. You know, I was actually kind of hoping that'd be you earn points only by killing enemies while in the air, but lose points if you kill them while you're on the ground. Anyway, capture the swag. One bag of swag and three pirates. Hold on to the swag, the longest to win. Team deathmatch. Requires all human players. Fair enough. Let's jump right into uh, to normal deathmatch. Five lives sounds fair enough. Special options. You know I have to look at this. Randomize the special options. That's nice. Just random special options. That's a good deal. Uh-oh. For some reason, my game lost focus right there. All right, so let's see. Special options. Deadly dodges, friendly fire, no hazards. A lot, a lot of mutators. A lot of mutators. I really like this. All right. Let's not delay any longer. Let's begin. Sure, random. Excellent, excellent concept uh, concept art, and beautiful pixel art. Look at this. All right. So I couldn't immediately tell where I was right there. I had to move a around a little bit before I could actually tell where I was. All right, so... Oh, that was probably not a smart idea. <laughs> where am I? Oh, there we go, coming down. All right, so we have dodge, shoot. Simple enough. Wait, they were next to each other all the time? Why didn't they kill each other? Oh, dead again. That's probably going to happen a lot while I get used to the controls. All right, jump in, grapple, nope. So my grapple is both my best mobility tool and my best killing tool. So I gotta keep that in mind. There we go, got one. So can I, while I'm on the grapple, it looks like I can't really, uh, what's the word, detract it at all. As soon as I pull in, which it automatically pulls in, I am, oh, but I can kind of jump away if I want, sometimes. Ugh. Little finicky there. There we go. I have to make sure I let go at the right time. Got him. In a lot of ways, I'm getting kind of a tower fall vibe here, but in a lot of ways better, just because of the whole idea of your mobility is based on your weapon. That's a neat idea. Ooh, did I? That's a phoenix. Wait, what? Why did I get off? Oh, I pressed the dodge button thinking it would fire, and then I ended up getting off the phoenix. I wanted to use that phoenix. So bots right now don't seem like crazy strong. Did I just turn into the shark dude? Okay. He's very heavy. Ah, that didn't do much for me except for kill me. So apparently there's a power-up that'll turn you into other players, but if I chose the player I wanted to be, wouldn't I just want to be that player the whole time? Got him. Oh. 
Yeah, the bots don't get super bloodthirsty sometimes. Sometimes they just kind of stand off in the distance, waiting for some of us to do the work. Ooh, that dodge, though. Ah, dang. Good aim, though. Come on. Got her. I guess just touching can kill, because I didn't really jump or anything there. Oh, that's cool. I like that effect when uh, two hooks touch. Invisible. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, dang, that didn't work at all. I was hoping I'd get off that in time. So now it's just the bots playing. And there's no way I can get out of this? Yeah, there is. Well, alright, so I lost that one. I was kind of hoping once it's just bots, just end the game. Because, you know, the important people are done. <laughs> or the important person in this case. Bots have got that jump timing down, or that dodge timing down. To a science. There we go. But look at it right there, just waiting. Get out of here. Ah, dang. Dang it, go fight each other. <laughs> so the bots are still, I think, at a relatively low level. Gonna try to risk it. Okay, maybe I can... Wait. Go for it. There it is. I got a helmet. I don't know what it does, but I have it. There we go. I think I move a little bit faster. Actually, this is more the kind of speed I want. Oh, this is good speed. So I was just thinking, like, this game could use for a bit of a speed boost. Like, I keep expecting... Dang it, how do... So is the only real way to kill this person by getting the grappling hook on them? I mean, you'd think I could jump on their head or something, right? But even then, I'm not always killing... Oh, oh, kind of pulled me in. Okay, that was close. I think that's kind of a weakness of the game, honestly. If the only way to kill is the grappling hook. Because so I was thinking maybe I could, like, jump on them or something, you know? Maybe I could use the grappling hook to, as a mobility tool so I have a better shot at just jumping on them. That seems like it'd be a good way to go. But there, there should definitely be other means of killing aside from the grappling hook. Okay, so... Oh, okay, cool. So how far does that go? Yeah, it goes pretty far. Wonder how many shots I get. Probably until I get hit, right? Which makes sense since I'm a giant target right now. Oh, or until time runs out. There's definitely a ooh, learning curve to be had here. There is no double jumping, which I kind of wish there was, but what are you going to do? Maybe that'd be a mutator. I don't know. Oh, time slow for everybody. For a time slow thing, you'd kind of hope it would be... Ah, dang it. I thought he would grab the ledge, but I guess not. Anyway, for a time slow, you'd kind of think it would affect everyone but the person who picks it up, so it's an advantage to them. But not inherently, I guess. There we go. Hook doesn't go quite as far as I would hope in some situations. It goes about two ledges high. Not bad, but not great. Yeah, I mean, there are other ways of killing as far as the power-ups go, but I mean other ways of killing without power-ups or anything. You can kill easily enough with a mount of sorts, but I'd much rather have uh, just the ability mano a mano to mess someone up, you know? The grappling hook works, but when you get in super close quarters, nobody can kill anybody. If I literally stay on top of the person the whole time, like right here, neither of us can kill each other right now. As far as I can tell, at least. Oh, well, that'll work. Again, unless they move away from you and get you with the grappling hook. All right, so I got that one. Beastmaster, unstoppable Hawkeyes. Griffin's pretty awesome. So let's look at the modifiers a little bit. Let's try to change this up a bit. Uh, select variation. I don't know what that's all about. All right, special options. So what do we have here for options? So deadly dodges, friendly fire, and no hazards. All right, so this, I guess, would be another way to kill through deadly dodges. Let's try turning that on. Double jump, which, again, a modifier I was thinking about. Let's do that just because... And faster speed. Let's do both of those. Let's try to mod this experience how I would like to see it, personally. Spawn with shields. Always berserk. Always cannons. Lots of chests. Snow masks. And, okay, just general treasure. What cannon cannot show up? Uh, let's do lots of chests so, just so we can kind of get the experience of what could be found, you know? Let's see how this all plays out. Oh, I like that. They all show right there what's currently on. That is a time saver. Beautiful. This The whole user interface experience here is absolutely wonderful. Really a fan of this UX. Alright, so let's see right here. There we go. So now, definitely feeling the speed. And that adds up to a lot, actually, in the whole experience. Mirror, huh? Invisible. Where am I? 
Am I, am I respawned yet? I legitimately have no idea where I am, but I can hear myself jumping. Oh, there I am. Wow, I was really lost in that fog there. Give me all the things. Oh, the mirror turns everyone else into the, into you. So, like, you're the only person who knows who's actually who? I don't know. Weird. Oh, no, Griffin! I didn't want to get off you! Dang it. Apparently, I accidentally jumped off the Griffin. So, jumping or dodging while on the Griffin equals no Griffin. But I want the Griffin. Griffin's my friend. Look at that. Look at my friendly Griffin. He just wants to play. Why don't you play with the Griffin? He's super friendly to people he doesn't kill. Hehe, <laughs> Griffin. So overall, this is already a majorly enhanced experience for me. I'm loving... If you're going to play this game, you have to play it with a faster speed than double jump. It makes all the difference in the world. Of course, lots of chests is just kind of, you know, over the top, but... I'll probably turn that off after this. I just kind of want to see what all the power-ups are. So this is the one that turns me into Finn, right? Shark dude. Dang, got me. Here we go again. Oh, Griffin, no! Shark, no! I probably don't want you right now, actually. Oh, cool. Cannons. I guess those are automatic. No. no. Ah! Madness is occurring. There it is. There's the game win. Nice. All right. So let's uh, let's do that again, but this time, <laughs> giant chicken <laughs> meant for a giant chicken. I would love a giant chicken, actually. Just a giant chicken that laid explosive eggs that homed in on people, or you know, laid them properly instead of spitting them out or something. All right. Let's see. Let's turn off. Lots of chests. You know, if there were deadly dodges, I'd love a no-hook mode, even. Could you imagine just killing only with dodging? That'd be tricky. Alright, let's see how this plays out now. Now, let's try another mode, shall we? Steam tank. Fight with limited hook ammo that only reloads when you're on the ground. Let's give it a shot. Let's try King's Fall over here. The art style is fantastic. The pixel art is wonderful. The concept art is great. But look at this level right here. As beautiful as it looks, and I do think it looks very beautiful, it kind of looks too perfect, if you know what I'm saying right here. There isn't much in the way of uh, things that's wrong with it. I mean, you'd think a castle like this would have a few cracks here and there. You know, some of the ledges maybe having some... some uh, what's this? Oh, that's a workable cannon. That's a level exclusive, I guess. Neat. <laughs> uh, that might have been a mistake. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> ah, and what's this over here? Is this another mount? Another friendly mount? I believe it is. See, now we're getting into, like I was saying before, different ways to kill. I mean, again, mounts are something, but... I feel it. Uh-oh. Uh, don't fire, please. Thank you. Apparently bots don't understand how cannons work. Luckily, I do. Kind of. Except for when gravity is applied. Dang it! So you got three shots. But the double jump makes up for it in a lot of ways. So now everyone's a kitty. Everybody's a kitty! Except I'm a shark. Because reasons. I want to try this deadly dodging. Ah, come here. Oh, got me. Very quick. Wait, okay. I thought I was going to spawn right in front of that cannon. So the AI still doesn't seem to know how cannons work, but I can dodge right into it, so... Oh, and then I died. Is that the last one? I think that was the last life? Nope, one more. One more life for Mrs. Kitty. I assume that's a kitty cat, like a Miss Kitty. Oh, 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 no. No double jump, no problem. Time slow. I'm just going to assume you're not going to fire that. I was correct. Oh, I overestimated or underestimated I something estimated the point is I'm dead now I gotta wait for the boss to duke it out which I'm not gonna do so let's go ahead and restart that yeah there definitely is a towerfall vibe with uh, grappling hooks instead of arrows which is not at all inherently a bad thing in any way but at the same time you gotta account for the fact that there is a limited range to grappling hooks and because of that there's also a limited range to kill compared to arrows Wow, the bots are really good at dodging. Just gonna throw that out there. Got 
Come on. That did not go at all as planned. <laughs> I accidentally shot up instead of uh, going for the enemy. Where's the third bot? Oh, she's up there. So I just turned into the cat again while being the cat. Meow. Hmm. So the stationary cannons. I don't know if they're really doing it for me. Maybe you should make the cannons, like, have a much bigger radius, but have a limited amount of time they can be used before they have to, like, respawn or something. And then Mr. Griffin comes along and... Really? Ugh, never mind. Let's try not getting shot with a cannon? There we go. How about you? I need humans to fight. Alright. Damn you and your dodging abilities. Alright. Limited amount of uses. Try to reload real quick, because they're probably not going to go after me. If they do... Hmm. I just thought of a one thing they might be able to do to kill. Can I... Nope. I was wondering if you could actually like, come up from below like that and kill them like that. Like, if you came up from somebody... Yeah, like that. Well, it kind of knocked them up, but it... Oh, no, she has dodge. Never mind, that was a dodge. Maybe that can kill them, if they're dodging it. Ah, dang it. Anyway, you need to be just directly on point with your grappling hooks. Let's try this. No, dang it. You're supposed to do that. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. So, like, right there, I thought for sure that would hit, but it didn't. But I will say, of the two ways to play it, the faster speed seems like a total must for me. In terms of getting proper enjoyment out of it. Hey, that worked. So I just don't know if grappling hooks are an effective enough weapon, or at least at this stage of the game, if they're an effective enough weapon to really work out, you know? There's a lot of potential misfires, and I do mean a lot. It's so easy to miss your grappling hook, like right there, for example, and somehow it hit me, but I didn't hit them. Because you're aiming in the same direction you're going, right? So if you miss, you're going to be going in that direction, and then you're just completely wide open. But sometimes you don't even think you're going to miss. I mean, obviously, you never think you're going to miss. That's the point of missing. You think you're going to hit, but you don't. But that's not the point. The point is... Dang it. I'm, is that my last life? The bots are really on point with it, though. They seem to be pretty good at it. Especially when it comes to the dodging aspect. Oh, cool. Deadly dodging. I forgot I have that on. Hello. My cannon's better. Going to use this until I die. Which is probably not going to be that long. See? Told you. <laughs> All right, so unless unless this yellow kills the oh, okay. Let's see if they kill each other. Let's see what happens. Two highly trained CPUs fighting for the only thing they know how to do in their entire life. Who will win? The suspense is killing me. Which one will shoot first? The one with the cannon or the one with the grappling hook? I know you'll figure it out eventually. I believe in you, bots. <laughs> They're only okay. I think that's it. I think we have hit a stalemate. There is no chance they are going to move from those positions. <laughs> All right, that's the end of that. So, yeah, we definitely need some work. There's no question about that. Now, cu currently there is no online ga uh, gameplay. I don't know if that's something that's coming in the future or what. So, well, let's just make it 1v1 right now so I can kind of get my bearing right here. It's an enjoyable concept, and when it works, it definitely works. But there is definitely some... Uh, Oh, you can change colors here. I didn't notice that. Stick with the black robes. Anyway, but there's definitely some noticeable things that need some improvement, I think. Again, with the normal speed, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm going to switch back to completely normal options for right now. I found that I absolutely need, need to be playing, uh, to be playing faster speeds. So what do you have here? Sky Slayers. Right, lose points for killing yourself. Let's try Capture the Swag. And let's go... Swamplands. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Ooh, nice. Swag. Oh, right, no more double jumping. <laughs> I got far too used to double jumping. So the swag's there, and yep, they got it. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit, I didn't even realize they grabbed it. 
There should probably be a really obvious sound effect when the swag is grabbed. Swag is grabbed. That's fun to say. Swag grab. Dang it. It's so weird trying to wall climb with the hook. Because for whatever reason, I keep on holding the hook and then I just keep jumping. There we go. Whee! There we go. Definitely plays well. Ah, damn you. At least I'm a little ahead. That respawn, though, takes a little while. Mwahaha. As a mobility tool, the grappling hook's hook lurks really well. I'm actually really happy with how it works as a mobility tool. But I just don't think it's an effective weapon at this stage of the game. I think that it needs some some changes, some tweaks to be more effective. So if I dodge at any time right now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this. But hey, Berserk Mode. Now I move super fast? Is that what that does? Or does that make my dodges deadly? I'm sure with four players this would be much more interesting. Dodging for one person really isn't that hard. Not when you figure out how to actually move effectively around the map. Again, I gotta give it to the art style of this game. The background is just beautiful. Look at that giant frog statue. That's what I was talking about before when I was saying the castle didn't look really chipped enough or anything like that. That that looks about how chipped I would expect those castle pillars to be, or at least some of them. You know, a little scuffed up here and there, a few broken areas. So this is just gonna go on until I win it. Which admittedly, I'm not overly engaged right now. Maybe there should be like a limit to how long you can hold the swag, and then it has to go back to normal, and then everyone has to fight over it again. I don't get who that helps. I don't get who who the mirror hel thing helps. I mean, especially in this game mode, considering you're just going to go after whoever currently has the bag. And the invisibility I get, but again, you're holding the bag, so not going to help much. <laughs> and that's game. I'm pretty sure it went to 250. Or is it 350? Please be 250. There it is. Not bad. All right, let's try... Uh, Try just a normal game mode. Power up to... That's a good one. A power up to increase the size of the claw. That'd be pretty good. I like that. Uh, let's try Sky Slayers. That's the only one I haven't done yet. Let's give it a shot. 1v1. Uh, Tombs of Ra? Why not? Karuna. Yeah, I think we've been here. All right. Oh, that's cool. My uh, my particular dodge looks much cooler than everybody else's. They're all jelly about my assassin skills. In a way, I think it's actually a little OP because I literally blink out of existence. While the other ones I can see constantly where they're going. It looks really cool, don't get me wrong. But it's a little cheap in that sense because they don't necessarily know which direction I'm going until I'm there. I think it's just a straight upgrade for this particular character. A little more speed on me there. There we go. Realistically, uh, human probably would have been able to kill me right there, just face me and hit me with a claw. But the bots are just so good with those dodges. Like that background, the way that just kind of flies by there. It's neat looking. There we go. So I'm not really seeing the gameplay difference, uh, aside from this is just counting up. Well, okay, I guess there's that. This counting up instead of counting down. Now we have Jade. I really don't know what the difference in being Jade is, if any. With the shark, it did seem like I moved slower. But I don't know what that really got me. Just moved slower. Maybe it's like a disguise. If I was playing with somebody who was Jade, that would kind of throw them off. Wouldn't know that I was them. But then again, there's this, uh, there's this again. Like, if anything, this is going to confuse me more than uh, most people, because everyone would be me. Sure, it'll throw them off at first, but they'd be able to control themselves. I'd be looking at it as like, hang on, which one is actually me? Who's just doing what I'm doing right now? I think the points are to five right now. Almost there. The music's great, by the way. Another thing to throw out there. Really doing the music. So, the power-ups. Not many of them are super helpful. I did like the idea someone threw out about uh, having a power-up that extends the size of the claw. How about even one that extends how far the claw can go? Like, if I could shoot across the map with the claw, that'd make it much more handy than, you know, a standard claw. Like, definitely power-ups actually affect the claw would be great. 
power-ups that give you the ability to double jump. Dang it, stop dodging all the time, you stupid bot. Come on, that had to have hit. There we go. That one was weird. They just kind of went through that one. First Blood, get over here! That'd be... Hmm. Interesting. Now, what else can you do with this claw? I'm trying to think of other ways you can weaponize the claw in ways that it's not currently done right now. Well, let's do this, because I am kind of itching to try this. Let's try a completely random... And actually, you should have the special options, like, more accessible, honestly, instead of having to go back here all the time. Randomize. Okay, what do we got here? Friendly fire's on, no hazards, neither of which I care too much about. Spawn with shields, lots of chests, certain things are off. All right. Let's give it a shot. Let's try deathmatch for this one. Oh, wait, one more. Let's get more people in. And let's change these guys' characters. Oh, didn't want to do that. I want to change them. I thought I could pick up their pieces, but I guess not. Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. You'll be Jade. There we go. And I'll switch to my black get up, and boom. Let's give it a shot. This all flows beautifully. I love these menus. These are some of the best menus I've seen in quite a while, actually, for indie games. Wonderful job. Frostguard, I don't think we've done this one yet. Hmm. Alright, so we all have shield, so I guess we all get one free hit. One free knockover. Before we die. Like that. Dang, but those bots, they are so on point. They're on point when they're fighting me. If I just kind of stand off at the distance, I don't think there'd be any problem. Now, I do like how grabbing the chest doesn't give you the power-up. It just enables the power-up. And then someone else can grab it if uh, you're not paying attention. Or if you're in a hurry. Ah, dang, I got snagged on the way back. So far, I'm the only one who's died, aren't I? Nope, Finn died once. Those bots, they know how to dodge really well. <laughs> Being invisible doesn't inherently help me, I've noticed. It actually can throw me off really bad. Oh, twofer. Nice. Still trying to figure out exactly what Berserker does. I don't think it speeds me up. Oh, they got me, I think. I think. I, oh, no! I'm over here! Oh, I almost died. Again, the invisibility, it just throws me off more than anyone. Because I'm like, where am I? And there's no way you can really make it any more obvious, because, you know, it's got to be... I got to be invisible. To everybody. So when the dodging works, the dodging works. There's no question about that. Dodging actually works really well, because I can just dodge in place if I want to. I can dodge up, down, left, right, diagonal. Any way I want to dodge, I can dodge. Which is great for dodging in place, especially... Oh, dang. I got got. As my corpse flops around. Oh, good. Mirrored reflection. Now everybody's me. Great cannon. But which me is the real me? That's the real question. There we go. Jade's down. I think she's got one life left. That was a good snag. That invincibility time, though. If I were against a human right there, I'd probably be dead. Give me that shield. Yeah, give me that cannon thing. Let's see how my cannons fare. Yeah! Still one. Don't even know how I pulled that off. The magic of cannons. Terrible ninja. Good name for it. Does that mean I killed myself while I was invisible? I like all these little uh, titles, but I'm not entirely sure what all of them mean. Like Hawkeyes. Like long range hit, maybe? I don't know. Crouching Tiger? Mm -mm. Either way. It is definitely a satisfying game, and I think it will be a lot of fun to play with friends. Unfortunately, right now, there is no online, as far as I can tell. Just the verses. But hopefully there will be online in the future. I believe that is very much in the works. Got a bunch of trophies right here. Oh, here we go. Here's what all of them mean. Hawkeyes killed an invisible player. Crouching Tiger killed someone while invisible. Terrible Ninja died while invisible. Called it. Participation. You tried. Lucky Duckling. One without killing anyone. Wow, I don't even know how I pulled that one off. But all in all, a lot of trophies here to check out. I like that. Nice little bit of extra stuff to do right there. Maybe give me the ability to, like, highlight each of those ones at the end so I can look at them. That'd be kind of nice. 
But yeah, I like all these little stats right here. Number of times jumped, mounts fired, hook shot, all that good stuff. Games launched, most kills, good times. So it's a good game. It's definitely a diamond in the rough right now, but it's getting there. That's what early access is for, am I right? I think this is version 0.5, so we got a long way to go. All in all, though, it's a great start to a, what could be a very great game. I just feel like the, the grappling hook needs to be a little more lethal. It needs to have a little more power behind it if it's going to be your lone main weaponry, you know? Maybe give me the power to jump on people to kill them. Maybe give me the power to shove them if they're nearby. I mean, that, that alone would be kind of nice if I had, like, a shove button and I could just, like, push someone away or even off a cliff sometimes. Something to something else, you know, just more than just the hook shot. I mean, hell, give me a sword. I mean, let's be realistic here. If I was slinging around with a hook shot and a sword, and I was just flying by, slashing people as I move, that feels so badass. I'm sorry, it would. It would just feel so badass. I know it goes against the entirety of the game, but come on, that'd be so cool. I mean, if the hook shot was more of the the hook shot is a mobility tool right now, plays great. It's wonderful. It feels good every time. But. I feel like it really is its own letdown when it's your main mode of weaponry. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe this is a good game worth checking out and keeping a very close eye on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skyhook. Thanks a lot for watching.